afraid of the water. Ben stood at the corner of the changing room watching Rocky as he quickly got undressed and put on his swimming trunks. Ben slowly began to unbutton his shirt. Come on, Rocky, he said. Let's get into the water. I like to swim. It's my favourite sport. Well, it's not my favourite sport, grumbled Ben, not hurrying to change into his trunks. Ben certainly did not like swimming lessons. He wouldn't admit it to anyone, but he was terrified of the water. He had never learned to swim properly, and he was sure that one day he was going to drown in the deep end at the pool. What made matters worse was that all his friends were good swimmers and really enjoyed the weekly visit to the local baths. Oh well, it was no good hanging around the changing room. Mr Belter was sure to come looking for him. Rocky had already rushed out and jumped into the water by the time Ben arrived at the side of the pool. He was splashing about, having a great time, as Ben slowly climbed down the steps into the shallow end. He was hoping no one was going to notice him, when suddenly Kevin's voice rang out above the noise. Look at Ben! shouted Kevin. He's always in the shallow end. He won't go in the deep end, and I know why. He can't swim! He can't swim! Mr Belter heard Kevin shouting and he turned to look at Ben who was scowling miserably and still standing shivering in the shallow water. Come on Ben, he said kindly, you must learn how to swim. Come to the side of the pool and we'll have a go. Ben slowly moved from the steps and grabbed the rail at the side of the pool. That's right, said Mr Belter, now listen, kick with your feet and push the water away with your hands. Ben clung to the side and looked fearfully up at the teacher. Come on now, said Mr Belter. Have a try. The water isn't very deep. Nothing is going to happen. Ben wasn't so sure. He pushed away from the side and tried to do what Mr Belter had told him, but he sank like a stone. When Ben surfaced, coughing and spluttering, Kevin was beside him laughing. I know why, Ben. Why, Ben is always in the shallow end, he shouted. He can't swim! Kevin began splashing water in Ben's face, and Ben was beginning to get very angry. Luckily, it was time for the lesson to end. Mr Belter blew his whistle, and the children climbed out of the water to get changed. Ben didn't feel like walking home with the others, so he went the long way round by the canal. He was angry with Kevin, but he was also angry with himself. If only I could swim. He kicked a stone along the canal path, thinking miserably about all the sports he was good at. He was the best in the class on the trampoline, especially since his dad had put that old bed in the back garden. He could kick a ball and run really fast. So why couldn't he swim? He heard a noise. He looked up to see a group of of boys on the other side of the canal. They were shouting and laughing. What were they doing? Ben moved a little closer. Now he could see what was happening. The boys had put a kitten on a dustbin lid and pushed it out into the middle of the canal. The tiny creature was terrified and it mewed loudly as the lid floated away from the bank. Ben didn't stop to think. He had to rescue the kitten. He looked around and saw a tree which had fallen down over the canal. It lay across the water and the dustbin lid with the frightened kitten was floating towards it. Ben began to crawl along the tree trunk to try and reach the kitten. He clung on very tightly as he did not want to fall into the water. Soon Ben was right over the water and the kitten was drifting nearer. It was mewing in a terrified little voice. It was as much afraid of the water as Ben was. Ben was almost at the end of the tree. The trunk was thin, and he had difficulty hanging on. Still, he thought he was near enough to the kitten to reach it, so he put out one hand as far as he could, but it was no use. 
the dustbin lid was still too far away. Desperately, Ben tried again, but this time he lost his balance and fell with a mighty splash into the water. He couldn't feel the bottom with his feet and he began to throw his arms around. He was panicking now. He was sure he was going to drown. What could he do? If he was going to save himself and the kitten, he was going to have to swim, and quickly. Ben tried to remember what Mr Belter had said. Kick out with his feet and push the water away with his hands. He'd tried, he'd tried doing that, and he could feel himself rise in the water and move along. He was swimming. It was as simple as that. He was actually swimming. Now to rescue the kitten. Ben turned himself around in the water and began slowly to swim towards the kitten. When he was near enough, he grabbed the dustbin lid and kicked out with his feet. It seemed to take a very long time, but Ben made it to the side of the canal with the kitten still safely on the lid. Holding onto some long grass, Ben lifted the dustbin lid onto the bank. It was difficult as the lid was heavy and he had to be careful that he did not tip the kitten into the water. But soon he was climbing out of the canal and sitting safely on the grass with the kitten in his arms. You're safe now, he whispered to the frightened animal. And so am I, he added thankfully. Ben stood up, still cradling the kitten in his arms and looked around for the other boys. There was no one in sight. They must have run off when Ben fell into the water. Ben made his way home. He was beginning to feel cold and very dirty, but he was so pleased with himself that it didn't really matter. It mattered to his mum, though. When she saw him standing in the kitchen dripping wet, she let out a shriek. Why are you wet? You look half drowned. Ben smiled and said proudly, I can swim. I had to swim to save a kitten from the canal. Ben's mother looked at him in surprise. But you hate the water, she said, and you can't swim. Well, I fell in, said Ben, and I remembered what Mr Belter had told me, and suddenly I could swim. That was a very stupid thing to do, said his mother as she dried his hair, while the kitten tucked into a saucer of milk. Fancy going near the canal when you can't swim. You might have drowned, you stupid boy. Later she told Ben that he could keep the kitten. He called it Splash. The next day, Mr Belter announced that the class would be having an extra swimming lesson. Kevin looked over at Ben and grinned at the thought of teasing him about not being able to swim. At the baths, however, Kevin was in for a surprise. Ben got changed as quickly as the others and jumped straight in at the deep end. Kevin stared in surprise, especially when Ben began to swim across the pool. You can swim, he shouted crossly. Who was Kevin going to make fun of now? Mr Belter heard Kevin shout and came over to see what the fuss was about. He smiled at Ben when he saw he was swimming. Good lad, he said. You've done very well. I must say you've learned very quickly. Well, said Ben. Swimming is definitely my favourite sport now.